there are spiritual forces that shape the minds of people a lady sent me a text recently she just graduated as soon as she graduated she said she's been feeling like tearing her clothes and running on the street now do you think an intelligent person will behave like that it's a spirit how many graduates have you seen that the moment they finish on their way going home a little kekena pep just turned and left them there till a truck came and climbed them how many people have you seen final exam final paper they just find something on the ground and say that's it you are gone there is no such thing that is just is no coincidence is the manipulation of spirits you have an assignment to sanitize your atmosphere let them know you are alive start with your atmosphere sometimes i walk around my house in the night especially when i'm around i'm just walking around my house do you know not too far from my house there is a graveyard i've not seen one ghost one one ghost where will it enter and come to my house I'm dealing with matters of destiny not, not a ghost coming from somewhere what business has the dead the living to do with the dead i even wanted to buy the place they told me that there are, there are graves there ha, apostle don't buy why welcome to start now channel we are glad you tuned in today to experience another life-changing encounter in god's presence the bible says in psalm 119 verses 130 the entrance of thy word is it life. As you listen and watch, may you experience the transformative power of God's life. Let me tell you something, brothers especially. Honestly, if you are a man in this generation and this time, and your priesthood ministry is not at work, you are about to destroy your wife and children. There is no such thing as pray for me again. You pray your way and pray the climate open. Ah, my wife and my child, Mother Mary, as you go to church, pray for me. That thing must end. It is my prayer that the homes in Koinonia don't become like shrines. That they become real homes. The proof of masculinity is not the huskiness of your voice. It's the, it's the dexterity of your priesthood. I've advised us ladies, watch out for these things in saying yes. Don't just say yes carelessly and say time is going. The urgency on ground requires men and women who know how to burn the incense. Please sit down. There are spiritual forces that shape the minds of people. A lady sent me a text recently. She just graduated as soon as she graduated she said she's been feeling like tearing her clothes and running on the street now do you think an intelligent person will behave like that it's a spirit how many graduates have you seen that the moment they finish on their way going home a little kekena pep just turned and left them there till a truck came and climbed them how many people have you seen final exam final paper they just find something on the ground and say that's it you are gone there is no such thing that is just it's no coincidence it's the manipulation of spirits you have an assignment to sanitize your atmosphere let them know you are alive start with your atmosphere sometimes i walk around my house in the night especially when i'm around i'm just walking around my house do you know not too far from my house there is a graveyard i've not seen one ghost one one ghost where will it enter and come to my house I'm dealing with matters of destiny not, not a ghost coming from somewhere what business has the dead the living to do with the dead i even wanted to buy the place they told me that there, there are graves there ha, apostle don't buy why you are dead you are dead One time, Archbishop Benson Idahosa came and met that they killed a fowl. I think it was an incantation. And he saw it and he gave it that they should go and help him and cook it. They had already caught it. Say, why waste, why waste meat like this in the name of nonsense sacrifice?
God does not love wastage. He said, gather the crumbs that there be no wastage. See, let me tell you this. If you do not know the power of prayer, you will fear demons to death. Hallelujah. We sit down and allow spirits to roam around our houses. I know a man, true story, in Joss years ago. He was slapped by, I don't know if he's a ghost or a spirit. He, he works then in the teaching hospital. And he said he used to hear, that means the, um, what they call that place, doctor? Where they keep, mortuary. In the night, while doing his work, true story, he will hear like discussions. You know, like people have woken up and they are talking. True story. And one time he attempted, he shouted, according to him, he said, shut up. And he, one, well, I don't know whether he, he wanted to open the door or something. I stand before the God of heaven and I lie not. And the, the, the spirit slapped him until that man died. He did not recover. Spirits are real. Don't wait till you see them. They are real. My mother once told me a story. They went to bury someone. This thing did not, I'm, I'm not sure it's more than six, seven years. They went to bury someone and physically, as they were dropping the coffin, fire, physically, fire came out and killed some people. Not parables, not vision. Fire came out and killed some people. Have you seen people that they buried and you found a man back in your house? all these things will remain when there is no prayer just saying i am the righteousness of god in christ hallelujah that's not the way it works we are legislators we enforce things we don't just wish things this wishing mentality will cost the church a lot no it's impossible who am i that the devil will not come jesus went to fast satan went to join him he was fasting satan was fasting too he was waiting there for 40 days for jesus who do you think you are that you will not come around your vicinity from whence comest thou jesus asked satan he said from voyaging to and fro there was not a place that he did not go to have you considered my servant job yes i came to his house it's only that he built a fortification and i could not access Right now, people are afraid. Seven o'clock, people have to lock up their, their shops in many areas. They are losing in business. Why? Because some tout somewhere will come and waylay them and loot and steal money. And the church is just quiet. Don't be like Esther. But be like Esther. Parakatusiata. Shekete baratadea you sense anything around your vicinity you don't wait to understand what it is tap your wife and say wake up when you do that twice three times one month the devil will know where to pass see let me tell you this whatever you allow to happen to your life don't blame god whatever you allow to happen to your family don't blame god i'm i'm waking us up that territorial dominion truly happens on the strength of priesthood not a need driven prayer hallelujah i heard of a man recently for one four years I, I'm, I'm i'm trying to be sure so that i don't exaggerate anything four years the wife refused to get pregnant the man was tired one day he came back from fellowship the wife was sleeping he came and knelt down and put his hand on top of her, her, her stomach and prayed that woman into pregnancy no i mean it if i'm joking i'll tell you i'm joking he was tired of this thing and said no he 
knelt down you just sleep you are my wife i'm the one who paid your dowry let me face this spirit of barrenness see there are times in your life you need to get agitated spiritually and stop allowing nonsense to just happen within your territory within your family hallelujah i was so encouraged when i heard it literally prayed not like impartation or yet no he sat down knelt down on top of his wife's stomach and prayed in tongues until that report changed you can pray some things out of your life and you can pray some things into your life there are times that you can put your job your 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 certificate on the ground and lock yourself from 12 to 6 you pray until where you did not apply called you our generation has not understood the power of prayer those who know how to pray are people who do not take no for an answer they don't negotiate they decide and agree god are you in this if god says yes they clear anything that stands the way hallelujah praise the lord a prayerless christian is a powerless christian a prayerless territory is a powerless territory a prayerless couple is a powerless couple a prayerless business is a powerless business a prayerless ministry is a powerless ministry Please sit down. Boy, our time is gone. The first key to territorial dominion is priesthood. Koinonia, pray. Don't just pray on Tuesday. Pray. Pray. You go back this night, trust God for grace. Even if it's 15 minutes, walk around your room a little before you lie down. Apostle, you don't know how busy I am. That is the excuse that is the door that the devil will use to enter your life. If you search for excuses, you will always find one. Let me tell you this. I have taught you and I pray you will believe it. Master the power of night prayers. Master the power of night prayers. A generation that sleeps all through the night into the morning is a generation that would not be powerful. I'm telling you this see there is a time when you will enter your Sabbath in experience a young man personally now it's not I'm not saying this is the Bible It's my personal understanding that a young man who actually goes to bed by nine to wake up by six and you don't have time for your destiny you are building rubbles the night is when men who are men pray the night is when men who are priests pray the night is when men who are watchmen pray the night is when gatekeepers of destiny pray let me tell you sincerely i have not slept in days like real sleep to take out time and sleep it's a sacrifice you are supposed to get a job that God will use to change your family and your territory and while you are sleeping they send a letter from a parastatal we need these 41 names in the list and there are spirits waiting there to decide what name will be removed and every other person is in a Habali shrine forcing his name to remain there and you are snoring away your your sleep is the marker that will clean your name out of that list You can stay and insist. I may not have access to the office, but I can pray. I can pray. I've seen the ministry of angels in my life. I know that angels are real. I know that they are real when you pray. There are times I've tried to look for things and I could not find them. And I prayed and slept. And in my dream, I got up and went to where it was and I woke up and went there physically and carried it. 
many of us do not understand the ministry of angels because we do not pray in the name of Jesus every prayerlessness and spiritual laziness upon your life I curse it now this night in the name of Jesus all the movies internet browsing that distract you I'm not saying they are wrong but if it can sit down and distract your prayer life I separate you from it now it was in the night that Jacob wrestled with God and got power it was in the night that God came to Solomon and he received something men receive things in the night don't waste your night charge your atmosphere sleep under a heavy atmosphere of worship while you are sleeping you are receiving you wake up in the middle of the night and you know an impartation is ongoing see let me tell you these are not things we are these are things we have practiced for years strong worship in that atmosphere while you sleep and you will keep having all kinds of dreams sometimes the dreams will show you the root cause of things sometimes you are hearing a message and in the dream you will start acting the message you are alive to the message I, oh lord help our generation help our generation help our generation in the name of jesus christ hear me if you are a minister of the gospel in this place that means you are in ministry or you are trusting god to be in ministry please wake up i deliver you from laziness hear me ministry is not about suits and agbada and protocol ministry is serious business you know all this and i say this respectfully to our younger generation most of these boys do not understand the gravity of attack that can come to your life when you are in ministry they are just happy and just loiter around in pride one attack will kneel you down you need to be powerful with god are we blessed we believe you are blessed by the message you just watched let us know what stood out to you in the comment section you can also support our channel by liking and sharing our videos so more people like you will be able to watch these powerful messages we celebrate you and see you in our next video. Thank you.